Okay guys I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the tension in three cables which supports the uniform 80 kg plate whose shape is that of an equilateral triangle the mass center G of the plate is located one third of the distance MC from that point M so we are given this equilateral plate and its dimensions are 1.2 1.2 and this is also 1.2 and m is the midpoint of this ab so it divides this ab into two equal parts which is one point uh, which is 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 and this point g is at one third distance of this mc and the mass is 80 kg so the weight is going to act at point g in the vertical direction so let's say that the weight is acting in the downward direction so this is the weight and this weight will be mass times g that is 80 times 9.81 so 80 times 9.81 gives us 784.8 so let's say that this is approximately 785 newtons and now let's say that the tension in this cable is let's say tb since it is acting at point b let's say this is tc and let's say this is ta and is we can see that this TB and TA they are making 20 degree with the vertical so now we can resolve this TA TB into its component so it will have TB will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in the upward direction and let's say this is this is TBX if I define my coordinate system at M so at M let's say that this is my positive X axis and in the vertical direction is my z axis and in this direction this is my y axis so now if 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 this is my x axis then this is tbx and this is tbz component and similarly we can resolve ta into its components so this will be tax tax component similarly this will be taz component this is T T A Z component and similarly uh, TC is acting in the positive Z direction so there is no need to resolve this TC now if if TB is making 20 degree here so this TB acts is the sine component and TBZ is the cos component so we can write this this TBZ is let me write that TBX is TB sine of 20 and similarly that t b z is the cos component which is t b cos of 20 degrees and similarly we can say that t a x is the sine component as well that will be t a sine of 20 and similarly t a z is the cos component that is t a cos of 20 degrees but as we can see that tbx is tbx is acting in the negative x this is positive x it is acting in the negative x so we have to put minus sign here and tbz is acting in the positive z similarly taz is acting in the positive z and tax is acting in the positive z now if if we apply the summation of the if i apply the summation of moment about the x axis equals to zero since the whole plate is in equilibrium so as we can see that this tbx and this tax they are parallel to the x-axis and they are passing through the the x-axis so they are not going to produce the moment about the x-axis so and similarly this taz and this tbz they are intersecting with the x-axis so the perpendicular distance of both of these components from the x-axis is zero as well so only this TC and this weight they are producing the moment about the x-axis so TC is going to produce the moment about the x-axis in this direction like this and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x direction so this means that TC is producing the counterclockwise moment about the x-axis so I will write plus TC and the perpendicular distance of this TC from that x-axis is, is this distance which is MC so i will multiply this with mc and similarly the weight is going to produce the moment about the x-axis in this direction 
and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out in the negative axis so it is producing the clockwise movement so i will write minus 785 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that x axis is, is this distance which is one third of this mc so i will write one third of the mc length so this is equal to zero and from this if i bring this term to the other side of equation so it will become positive so we will have the equation like this so if we divide both sides of the equation by mc so we will get tc equals to 785 divided by 3 so 785 divided by 3 gives us 261.67 which is approximately equal to 262 so tc is equal to 262 newtons so this is the magnitude of the tension in that cable which is acting at point c now if we apply the summation of moment about the y-axis is equals to zero so as we can see that now this tc is intersecting with the y-axis and this weight is intersecting with the y-axis so the perpendicular distance of this tc and this weight from the y-axis is zero and they are not going to produce the moment about the y-axis and similarly this tx this tax and this tvx they are passing through that y-axis again they are intersecting with the y-axis so this x component they are not producing the moment about the y-axis so only this tbz and taz they are producing the moment about the y-axis so this tbz is producing the moment about the y-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so this means that tbz is producing the counterclockwise moment about the y-axis so i will write tbz and the perpendicular distance of this tbz from the y-axis is, is 0.6 so i will multiply this with 0.6 and since the thumb is pointing out in the positive y direction so it is producing the counterclockwise moment so i will write plus similarly this taz is producing the moment about the y-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction and this means that this taz is producing the count the clockwise moment so we will write minus taz and the perpendicular distance of this TAZ from that y-axis is, is this distance which is 0.6 so I will multiply this with 0.6 this is equal to 0 and if we divide this whole equation by 0.6 so this will cancel out and we can see that TBZ is equal to TAZ and now we know that uh, TBZ is TB cos of 20 so I will write TB cos of 20 and TAZ is ta cos of 20 so i can write that this is ta cos of 20 and cos of 20 will cancel out so from this we can say that ta is equal to tb so now to find the magnitude of ta equals to tb we can apply the summation of forces along the z axis is equals to zero so we have to add up all the components in the z direction so now we can say that this this TAZ plus TBZ plus TC minus this weight will be equal to zero. So we can write that TAZ plus TBZ plus TC. These three are acting in the positive Z direction. So they are positive forces. And the weight is acting in the downward direction. So you will write minus 785 and this is equal to zero now taz is we can write that taz is ta cos of 20 similarly dbz is tb cos of 20 and if i bring this tc to the other side of equation so it will become minus and we know magnitude of tc which is 262 so that will become minus 262 and this weight on the other side will become positive so we will have plus 785 now from from this equation we know that ta equals to tb so i can replace this tb with ta and this will become 2 ta cos of 20 so i will write 2 ta cos of 20 degrees equals to minus 262 that is minus 262 plus 785 gives us 523 so i will write 523 and now from this we can write that ta is 523 divided by 2 cos of 20 so now this answer divided by 2 cos of 20 
gives us 278 approximately so from this ta ta is equal to tb is equal to 278 newtons so now the tension in in the cables which are acting at a and b their magnitude is 278 newtons and the, the tension in the cable which is acting at point c has a magnitude of 262 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning